Hi, welcome to another episode of Upgrading Man A and A6. In this part, I will prepare Z axis, I will mount the motors for the Z axis and prepare X axis idlers and hot end carriage. Now I will do Z axis. For that I've printed four parts. Those are remodeled parts I found on Thingiverse. Mm, I've, in this model I've changed two things. The distance between this hole and this hole. So it will be the same as in the original Prusa, so the rods will fit inside. Same for this part, of course. And also I've cut the length in this, this direction, so it's 25 millimeters shorter. Because with Prusa extruder and X axis, you don't need that much distance from the frame uh, to the to the rails. Okay, now hopefully everything will be just fine, and I will, do, and it all will be just a matter of screwing it. And this is the part I've printed, and and it failed. It was because of clocked nozzle this is the result this is how it looks when you have a clocked nozzle so the print begin just fine the first layer is pretty okay then after 10 layers or so maybe may, maybe less i've got this this awful stuff and I didn't notice and I didn't notice it. So it ended up printing. So clip your nozzle clean. Always check your prints during the process. So you won't lose time, money and your filament. By the way, this is printed in PETG made by Fiberology. Really great stuff. Let's get down to business. Okay.
this time I will assemble z-axis idlers and x-axis carriage. Thanks for watching, that's all for this part. If you don't want to miss another one, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any thoughts, ideas, please leave them in the comments section below. Any likes will be appreciated.